Well, I'm very pleased to be joined with Canadian country band, James Barker Band. We're talking about your new single, Overall, Over Again, and after having a listen to it, it does give off a great melody with those classic country vibes that we're all pretty familiar with. So for our viewers, share with us the origins of the song. Um, I mean, this one definitely is uh, was one of those songs that was built you know, from a melodic standpoint first, you know, they always say like, what comes first lyric or melody and had this idea for overall over again, which I was like, it, it'd be so cool to do that thing where it's like that relationship you keep falling back into, um, even though, you know, you shouldn't. Um, and, uh, that's just a, such like a core country music idea of that thing of like, you know, this is going to hurt like heck in the morning. Um, but it's going to be really good right now. Um, and the thing that makes it kind of lighthearted is that it is, lighthearted in the lyrical sense where it's like I know it's going to be bad but this is going to be good it's not too dark and depressing and the music kind of helps reinforce that and underline that um and that was it and uh I don't know it just feels so good to play it's one of those things that that definitely leans on the melody in a way that you even hear like a lot of the Beatles songs do where it's like that that carries it it's as much a, a part of the story as the lyric is now you guys also just recently got a U.S. record deal with Sony Music Nashville and Villa 40. So talk about what that means for you guys, because I know to a lot of Canadian country artists, that's a pretty big deal. So just share with us your reaction when you found out you got it. Yeah, it's uh, we've kind of been saying that like the U.S. record deal, as far as bands or artists go, it's kind of like the holy grail. It's the thing that everybody talks about, everybody wants their whole life. You're like, if I could just get signed to a big American record deal, it's like we're we're signed to Sony Nashville. I mean, it doesn't really get much bigger than that for country music. And uh, it was just such a weird time to sign a record deal. I mean, literally we were stuck at home for a year and a half and somehow managed to sign a deal in it. And uh, it's just a crazy time to do it, but almost kind of the perfect time because if we didn't have that, it would have seemed so much more grim, but we had kind of this light at the end of the tunnel where it's like, well, we've been sitting, we haven't been able to play shows for a year, a year and a half, but at least we've got this thing going on. And so it feels good to finally have that done. And then things finally be opening up kind of at the same time. Now, with all that time being home, there's been lots of Zooms for many musicians. Talk about that from a band perspective and the way that you guys have been able to keep that band chemistry and that band dynamic while being apart with COVID. Yeah, we definitely lean heavy on the Zoom thing or leaned heavy on the Zoom thing. Um, out of the gate it was one of those things where i mean you're constantly battling with the technology we, you know not being able to do like a live a live stream from different places and all of that um but with the zoom it's crazy you literally just be like hey does everyone want to jump on and like right today or do you guys want to jump on and we we did a handful of like zoom like meet and greet things with fans and stuff um and they're actually like obviously it's great to be able to go back and play normal shows and do normal meet and greets but there is something special about how interactive mm -hmm. doing things online is, how face-to-face -face it is. You would never really get an interaction like that. Like when you do a live stream, someone can put in a request in the comments or, or say that was awesome or blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, I met you guys at so-and-so show. Um, and if you were just playing a live show, you'd never get that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction. And so I, it's kind of something to be grateful for because nothing would have ever forced us to do that other than like a pandemic. And so it's, it's honestly one of those things where we're probably going to be doing some form of live stream or live meet and greets now for the rest of our careers because it is so unique. It is such a cool experience. And, and I think it also like shifted and allowed us to work on our productivity because you're productive in different ways where it's like, hey, I've got some time. So it's like, what can I focus on get better at? And also having this time being able to kind of allot it in different ways rather than a lot of the time, obviously we're on the road. Um, in the past or, or doing shows where it's kind of organized chaos. Um, I feel like overall, all of us, this pandemic, definitely productivity wise and like moving our lives forward wise, um, we're able to do that really, really well. And we spend every day together for the last like mm -hmm. six years. Yeah. So if anything, <laughs> the silver we lining needed is <laughs> we needed a break. So now we, we bought a couple more years before we yeah, yeah, and really really kill each other yeah. until we break up. So. Oh. Aside from the new single, what else can we expect from James Barker Band? Any new music? Any live shows coming up soon? What's the latest on that front? Well, I mean, we've got we've got so many songs, and so our gameplay right now is obviously released over all over again, and you know, let that do what it's going to do, and then start talking about releasing, you know, an EP or an album or whatever it may be in the near future. And on the live show front, I mean, we do have shows booked kind of for late summer and into the fall, um, kind of all over North America. Um, for Canada, it's just one of those things where it's like, we've got our fingers crossed. There's obviously been a lot of like 
cancels and postponed dates and stuff like that. And whenever it, whenever it opens back up, we are going to be hitting the road in a big way. Hopefully we'll be playing every day straight for a year. I we would just, imagine. And we just finished two straight weeks of rehearsal. So we're ready to go. We're fired up. We got to play two shows in Kentucky this past weekend. And it was almost just a tease because it's like, let's do 25 more of those. So well, guys, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. The new single, Overall Over Again, is out now on all major music platforms to have a listen. Guys, thanks so much. Awesome. Thanks, Thank dude. Have a good one.